Hello, and welcome to this edition of Clairvine Quick Finds, where we'll introduce our first Clairvine AI release, Content Comprehension, which is coming to the Data Standards Cloud soon. My name is Corey Meyer, and I'm thrilled to, to introduce this quick find for you today. As a member of the product team, I'm privileged to work closely with our AI solutions on a daily basis. In today's session, I'm going to be diving into a little bit about Clairvine AI and how our AI powered solutions are transforming the data standards at scale and specifically introduce you to content comprehension features. Clairvine AI is a suite of artificial intelligence, machine learning and computer vision fueled features that allow for accessing previously unavailable video and image metadata, visualize assets with your data standards workflows, surface and select similar content, and bring, bringing structure and consistency and standards to teams and technology. Our solutions allow for the automation of data labeling of these assets at scale and providing high fidelity data for creative labeling purposes. All of this works in the absence of, of metadata. We have a standard taxonomy. Um, the first phase will include nine different classes. You can see them here on the screen. That includes activities, affinities, objects, places, demographics, emotions, logos, IAB, and IAB ad product. Um, in terms of the feature set, this is going to be integrated into the, the template workflows. Um, and you can adjust, adjust various different thresholds as it relates to uh, precision or, or breadth or scale of data. And there's also an image preview, and I'll show you a little bit of that in the demo coming up. Um, a few quick examples of, of what the, you can do with the application of this data. Uh, it allows you to control the application of AI generated metadata within your uh, DAM, the assets within your DAM. It allows for the extraction of a common taxonomy across all of your ad creatives for segmentation and analysis. Um, there's also a preview alongside of the metadata so you can confirm um, the, the creative placement with the uh, applicable metadata. And it also allows for you to gain more high quality uh, measurement. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo within the platform of the content comprehension, how you configure a template to get the data to, to be processed and then also show you an example of what the, the output looks like. So when you're in the template view, building a template, the place where you're going to want to see or enable the Clairvine AI content classification is in the, the defining governance tab. Um, what's going to be important here is that, that we add a field that you can tie a creative URL to. So I'll just find a field that we can use. I'm going to add this field and you're going to see this enable AI creative classification up on top. So we're going to want to go to enable and what you're going to see with that inclusion is that you're, there's two additional um, boxes, one for classification of source URL and AI classification title we at minimum want the, the source URL, because this is what we're going to use and collect to, to do the processing of, of the asset. Once that is, once that occurred, you can then go in and select which classes you would want included. And then down below, you're going to see some, some sliders. What this slider does is it sets uh, the level of the score that you associate with the output within, within your submission. The higher the threshold, the higher the accuracy, the lower the threshold, the larger a breadth of data that will be included. So I'll just pull these back a little bit just for demoing purposes. Once you've configured it to your liking, you click save, and then we will go look at the, the view within the, the template to add, start adding in data. Once you're in the template view, you'll be looking for the field that you allowed for the classification, the source URL to be tied to. You will input some URLs. Once those URLs are populated, you click and click save or submit. We'll just click save really quick to generate 
that and then we'll hit submit. And then what happens here is it's going out, hitting our Clairvine AI API, retrieving the data. And then once the processing is complete, it will be vis visible, the results will be visible within the, the template view. Now that the data has successfully processed, what you're gonna end up seeing here, so you're, if you have a Clairvine ID, it's gonna be present. Um, and then you're gonna start seeing with the, the image URL as a preview. Um, so you can see actually what image is associated with the, the metadata that we processed. There is a, also a little quick view of exactly what classes and labels are tied to this image. And then you can see over here on the right, here are all the classes and labels that are relevant um, based upon what you enabled in the thresholds that, that you implemented. From here, you can uh, export this data um, and it would also be available through our standard um, inbound and outbound processes. There are going to be multiple phases in terms of inbound and outbound support. For the first phase, we will be supporting Meta, Ads Manager inbound, the file-based integrations, and web applications submission, which you just saw. Um, in terms of inbounds, in terms of outbound, um, we'll support the CSV export and the file-based integrations. In terms of what the second phase looks like, it's going to be really focused on extending capabilities around inbound and outbound support. Um, so that would include GCM inbound a and an AEM integration. If you found this session to be useful and you're interested in being part of the beta process, here are the next few steps. First, reach out to your Clarivine contact and they can document your interest. If you're unsure who that is, feel free to submit a support ticket. Once you once we are ready for testing, um, we'll talk to you a little bit more about use cases and the fit for the beta program. After the testing is complete, we will be opening up these features more broadly, um, but this will always be through an opt-in. So you can ensure that Clarivine AI aligns with your organization's AI policies. I hope you've enjoyed this quick find. And if you have any follow-up questions, be sure to reach out to your customer success manager.